So uh, I went to the world premiere of uh, Dream of Armageddon, an opera in one act um, composed by Dai Fujikura, and, uh, who is a um, composer from Japan, but he is based in London. And uh, the libretto was by Harry Ross, uh, dramatist, um, a scriptwriter, I think, uh, in London. And um, I hear that um, Mr. Harry and Mr. Fujikura, um, Mr. Ross, uh, sorry, Mr. Ross and Mr. Mr. Fujikura are really good, great friends and together. And you know, this is a, this was a triumph. Um, I, I, I'm convinced that this opera will be marked as one of the significant works in the history of opera. And I congratulate all the people uh, involved, uh, including uh, conductor uh, Kazushi Ono, uh, a really world-renowned uh, opera conductor, uh, for their really great work in bringing this um, together, uh, a dream of uh, Armageddon. Um, Dai Fujikura's music, uh, I should say, was like the abstract uh, Karesansui gardens uh, in Japan. Uh, there's this really uh, wonderful uh, traditional Karesansui garden in Ryoanji Temple, uh, which uh, Queen Elizabeth II once visited. Um, you know, um, you know Dai Fujikura's music is like the Karesansui gardens, you know, it's so abstract like any modern contemporary music should be. But, you know, uh, Dai Fujikura uh, composes the music with such uh, subtle nuances and um, occasionally occurring, really vivid, beautiful color of the life and death and, you know, um, experience of our very own existence so that when you do see uh, these colors uh, in the backdrop of uh, Karisansi Garden of music, you feel so blissful. Um, the music starts with the, you know, a cappella uh, of the chorus. And, you know, so this, this is really unusual in the opera, I think. And the, but once the music starts, you are drawn into the world of a, a, a dream of Armageddon. And the music then uh, continues in alternating scenes uh, between the streetcar and the um, really th complex uh, structure um, stage in which the drama takes place. And the video uh, provided, I think, by um, Christopher Kondek is really masterful. Um, and uh, so is the uh, costume design by Ura Kundra. Uh, sorry, uh, Kurola. And, you know, uh, and the set design by Barbara Ennis. And um, production by Lydia Steyer. It was a really first class, um, you know, stunning production. Uh, what with the streetcar and what with the you know, really complex uh, spatial structuring of the stage in which the you know videos and lightings and you know lighting was by um, Ola Fries and um, all these you know different elements uh, really made a memorable memorable uh, staging of this masterpiece. And, you know, diaphragmatic music started from the chorus and then goes on with this really Karesansui type of music um, in which you see occasional uh, showing of vivid colors and of life and, you know, you feel so blissful. And then, when it all ends with a boy soldier's uh, monologue and and, and you know, um, finally he sings "Amen," and that is the end of the whole opera. So you know, when you hear that, you feel as if uh, the whole story, the whole procession, has been put in a wonderful context. Uh, so there, at, at the end, there is this 
prayer and um, in which you wish well for all living things that have come and would come and are and no now in this dystopia uh, world uh, in which we might be actually living uh, there would be a glimmer of hope and that hope should come from the best in our existence and the a great music a labor of love um, would uh, you know represent the very fine qualities in ourselves and a uh, dream of the armageddon is i think a great depiction of that great hope now, i should mention that um Harios, who is a really great friend of um dai fujikura did a superb job um in creating the libretto um you know this was f staged in tokyo and uh, i i i don't know and i don't think uh, whether uh, Harry Rose uh, made the libretto um, intentionally uh, minimal in terms of uh, you know verbal uh, word usage. Um, I should say that you know the Japanese people are not uh, in general uh, good at taking English, but you know um, Harry Rose may came, came up with a libretto where. He uses really um, limited number of words, and you know, so it's like the haiku poem by the great uh, haiku poet Matsuo Basho. You know, it's so and everything is so condensed and given um, a really um, minimalist, uh, you know, um, treatment, and but yet, and yet the words come to us, come to our heart. In such a recent way, and when it is married with the wonderful music by Dai Fujikura, the effect is stunning. So I think um, you know this this pair of really great friends, um, Harioros and Fujikura Dai, Dai Fujikura, they did a really great job um, in creating a music that would be present to the ears, even if they are heard without this great production that was uh, presented in the new National Theatre in Tokyo. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Fujikura and Mr. Ross and uh, Mr. O Katsushi Ono, uh, who is uh, the artistic director as well as the conductor of the new National Theatre. Um, I, sh I should say, um, as a Tokyo resident, um, I always wished uh, the to new National Theatre well. And um, I always wished that um, New Tennessee that would uh, do a really great job in product producing the repertoire uh, of ours, like those by Wagner, uh, Strauss, and Verdi, Puccini, and so on. But at the same time, I always wished that they would be successful in bringing about world premieres, which uh, the opera lovers in the world would take notice and uh, congratulate on Tokyo for doing great things. And, you know, so I think with the production of A Dream of Armageddon, uh, the production team at the Tok uh, New National Theatre Tokyo did a really fantastic job. I am sure this opera will be remembered in the history of uh, opera and classical music for a long, long time to come. And uh, Dai Fujikura would be remembered as one of the greatest composers uh, to you know, work on the field of opera. So um, this was a great triumph in this difficult time. And I, I should say, we cannot be really optimistic about in which direction we are going. But you know, um, at the end, um, art, would provide the much needed, um, you know, promotion of the better angels of our existence. And Dai Fujikura's great work, I, I think, did a really wonderful job of reaffirming our possibility of creating um, a finer materials out of 
the zeitgeist of darkness and confusion and chaos. So, uh, in conclusion, a dream of Armageddon was a great triumph of, um, you know, Karesansui garden materials uh, tinged with really vivid colors and which ends with an amen. And uh, it was, uh, I think, a great job done by Dai Fujikura. And I should really congratulate Mr. Fujikura on bringing about this uh, fantastic work to the city of Tokyo. Actually, there are uh, two more productions. So if you live in Tokyo, or if you live elsewhere in the world, um, you know, please take note. And there would be two more productions. And uh, I hope, I do hope that, uh, you know, it will be restaged in some near future. Where, uh, here in Tokyo, or in London, or in Berlin, or in New York. <laughs>